Here, talk to me and define for our viewers what identity security and identity governance actually is. Yeah, that's a, that's really good. That's a, that's a great question. Okay, everyone understands identity because they log on to their Wells Fargo mm -hmm. Bank of America and all that stuff, right? And that's good. Okay, remember in the back end of that, some someone something is is saying. That's G. Graycheck. I'm going to associate them to this account. And let's abstract a little farther. I'm going to first authenticate them, grab them a session ticket, and I'm going to carry his identity through these different resources, right? And we always forget that. We always think, oh, God, the, the, the identity lives in Active Directory or Azure AD or, or Jump Cloud or something. And is it? No. Some mechanism is holding that identity and passing it over. The real, real challenge of 2024 going forward is how do we authorize that user, that user in all those different parameters and make sure it meets the practices, policies, and the regulations around that user? Because well, you got identities floating around every organization, right? And if they're looking at you know, personal healthcare information, PHI, PII, and they're not authorized. Do we want to start listing what regulations you're out of? You're out of GDPR for Europe, CCPR, CCPA for California, NYCR 500 for the U.S. I'm from New York, and I can keep going. That's the challenge of identity. It's not just storing, but it's making sure we're authorizing for what that user has access to and ensuring it shouldn't have access. There's a concept uh, that NIST came up with, the principle of least privilege. We are doing a terrible job of enforcing the principle of least privilege. And I mean, we, the, the community, because there's something, and I this is my analogy, and I'm a born and raised Midwesterner, so it always goes to cars, even though I, I don't have anything to do with cars. They're too hard for me. But anyways, all my buddies were, right? So I grew up in high school driving around in 68, you know, 98s and, and Chevelles and, you know, and did a big ass American cars with engines way too big for any good, right? Well, those cars in the 50s were killing people all the time. And why? Why were they killing people all the time? Because America built these amazing engines for World War II. So we knew how to build big, big engines, you know, massive HP. And we just dropped them right into these cars. And guess what? We were using drum brakes because no one came up with, you know, yeah, a few Euro types had those disc brakes and, you know, whatever. But, you know, we're Americans. We don't know these things. We've, we've got straight roads. So we got these cars whipping along. And I used to drive around in 50s cars with my friends and they were unbelievably fast. They couldn't break for a city block, right? That's identities, guys. That's identities, Right? We're really damn good at giving privileges out. And guys, I'm not kidding you, because I built one. I built an I IAM from scratch. We're really good at creating users. We're really good at giving them access. We're really good at the engines. We're not so good at removing those privileges. What are our practices, policies, what are our breaks, and actually once those identities are deployed, to pulling them back. That's what you attest is about, and that's what I'm working on.